with that being said, um, 2024 is here. Then it's God. Here, right? <laughs> um, it, it is. So what, what is it that, you know, you guys, what plans you had in 2023 that, you know, you want to see come to fruition in 2024? Uh, what's the goal here for this year? Traveling, yes, I, want to travel. I think that, that's every year though. Like, now that this travel. year, I didn't travel at all. Right? You didn't? Why, why not? I, I was I still, still. <laughs> she was well, still. She didn't. not too much. JD, okay, she said she was. Still. I need somebody to, you know, like sponsor you. Sponsor. Sponsor. All right, you can't travel broke, so I suggest <laughs> you start working. You know, Man. I have this year, I have like to well, to me. To other people, it may seem little, but to me, it's big. Mm-hmm. One of my goals this year is to actually put my put my phone down. Mm. Put my That's phone big. down. That's big. And like off social media and stuff. Yeah, like I spend too much time on my phone. You know how your your phone your, tells your, you? your screen your screen time. Yeah, my screen time would be like twenty three hours a day. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh lord! I want to put my phone down and actually, like you know, seeing people go left and right actually spend time with like my loved ones like when i say actually spend time actually spend time put my phone down get in the moment when i'm with them like literally live in that moment that's 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 dope like um my dog matthew he has said in the moment live love and laugh that's what i want to do like when i'm around my loved ones i'll just put my phone down forget i have a phone and live love and laugh with my loved ones because people going by like this yeah man yeah. That, that's that's pretty dope. That is a good one. I have I have something similar. My mine is to be more attentive. Mm-hmm. To be more attentive. And that's within my marriage, um, within work and, and around friends. Um, and especially in church. Mm-hmm. Um to be more attentive. Um a, a lot of times like we see things going on around us and we stay silent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Staying silent is not always the uh, the best thing to do. Mm. It's not always the best thing to do. Um, to be more attentive to the people that is around me, more attentive to their situation, mm. to their struggles, and and ask God, you know, to to help me, help them better. Because mm. sometimes we just want to help people. Um, at, at times, it's just to, to show that we can help, we can help. Mm-hmm. right? But our intention, you know, need to be focused on the glory of God. Absolutely. So that, that that's that's what I want to work on this year. Mm. JD, besides you, JD? besides your height, which one? My dog's not that short, though. <laughs> like, hey, JD's average height. I I'm losing weight this year too, so. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You started my, on Monday. My, my membership is already in. Oh, let's go. Mm. Waste of money. <laughs> <laughs> you should save that to travel. You got, you got membership. <laughs> she, hey, she probably had it for the past three years, mm. but never used it. The business that you're minding. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's the wrong business. <laughs> you got a membership to the grill. Oh club. man. <laughs> She got membership mm-hmm. to the grill club. Mm-hmm. I said me a lot. But listen, um, um I have I have a few things coming up, obviously. Personal life, work. Um but again, my my main thing is and people may understand it and may not understand it is maintaining. I want to maintain um, what I have been given and blessed with. And that's my marriage, obviously, number one for me. Um, after you know God, because it's that I would say that's one that I want to maintain. You know the constant relationship, right? I I find that you can maintain your relationship with human beings you know your loved ones easier at times it's not for everybody obviously it's not general but i found that sometimes it's easier to you know because you know she or he like your spouse you know is in front of you you're able to 
maintain that better, put more hard work in it, whether it's good or bad, whether it's arguing or whether it's love and laughter. But um, aside from that, you know, it's it's not always easier um, to maintain that relationship with Christ. And I, and I'm only and I only keep um, I keep going back to that because by His grace, that's the one thing that I would say that it's. It's not the easiest thing to always do for me, right? It's not a general thing. It's it's, it's for me, and and I need to continue to, you know, hone in on that, right? It'll never be perfect, but we gonna try. So dope. just continue to maintain. That's, That's one thing I'll say. That's dope. For sure. Yeah. I think I think for me this year, I wanna use my time wisely because I understand life is very short. So I want to make sure that God, what God is giving me, that I appreciate that, taking care of my family, make sure I can spend time. Because I know we always use the excuse, like, I don't have time for, to do this. I don't have time to do that. So I want to mm-hmm. make sure that I use my time very wisely. And one other thing that I hated 2023, when if somebody close to me, you will know I hate when people said, oh, if they're dealing with something that I wanted to see God. Like, there's a problem. I need to see God. How do you know I'm not? <laughs> like, how you know I'm not already? <laughs> right? But then Are you talking about that. the person telling you that yes. you need to see? Or you, you need to pray. Or you need to pray. Or you need to seek God. They always want that. But then I want to go back to the verse. Like, we forgot about the verse where it says, seek God first, you know? Seek ye first the kingdom of God, God and his righteousness, and all right. things shall be added unto you. Yes. And then we forgot. But I would just, okay, let me, let me go do this. If it's not working, then I'm going to go pray. So I think this year, I want to prepared because it's always good to prepare before a storm i want to prepare my spiritual life with god so that way when something come in front of me then i already know i already prepared for that i already know how i'm gonna deal with it and not when i'm in the problem that's when I'm like, okay should i do this should i do that wow. so i think i want to focus more on that and i love that because so that is okay so when you have that kind of mindset right and i understand it because when you have that mindset and then you know you 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 apply that again it's not something that's perfect right that you know and you don't try to put on a brave face you, you really don't but you just that you you're just mentally strong and you keep at it every day sometimes we can look like you know we're just putting on a show or a brave face but the thing is that you know you really have gotten ready for this and that um that this you don't know what it is but you've been putting in the work so that when this comes, that, you know, you may get knocked off course a bit or if not at all, but you're going to remain, you know, strong in it. I know it sounds like, you know, I'm being very mysterious about it, but that's kind of how I understand what you're talking about. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. it's not a it's not a mystery, but it's just different people, I guess, experience life different, different, yeah. different ways. Mm-hmm. Right. Um why right, to me is like the devil hits you where you are weak, weaker, you know, where, where he knows that you are, you are weaker, mm-hmm. right? That's what hits you. And sometimes it comes out of nowhere, right? So at times we cannot get prepared for the storms that are ahead. Mm-hmm. All right. But having faith, right? Yeah. If that's the preparation, then yeah, that, that is the best thing for you to do mm-hmm. is to always have faith, you know, within your storms. Um, so that kind of preparation is, is, you know, is what it is. You know, they announce hurricanes. They they don't announce, you know, problems. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? So problems hit you out of nowhere, man. Like you never have one of those good days where everything is going right. And then out of nowhere, you receive a phone call. Your whole day is shattered. Yeah. Right, man. right. You you come across somebody that says something and your whole day is shattered. But you had a great day. Mm-hmm. So I, I think problems comes, you know, when we least expect it. Yes. Right. We just need to stay prayed up. So that way we can be strong to face it. Yeah. Um, and again, I want to like go back to what you said, because here's the thing, right? When when we're going through problems, right? We, um, and speaking of faith, when we're going through problems, we go, you know, as Christians, we, we go, God, why, right? Why? That's the why question. But here's the thing. Here's, it's a reasonable question. It No, it is. Not taking that at all. But here's the thing. It's kind of weird, but I told myself, okay, well, when we get good news from God, we never go, 
God, why? Of course. Leo, not, thank bro. you. You you're the man. <laughs> Look. So I want to say, so so I'm thinking, man, I'd be asking, how does how is he feeling? How is he thinking? Because when he gives me what I ask for, or he gives me better than what I ask for, right? I never ask why. So you're like, is that for but, me? But but I'm still a Christian he when feel- I get those things, but then when I get those bad things, like man, God, why? Like, like, why are you doing? Where's this? the loyalty? Man, he feels <laughs> just like your parents, dog. You ain't got. You, right, you, you ain't know. great, dog. Like you ain't great. Yeah, but that, that, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I want to push for. You know what I mean? Like I want to push that message out, man. Yeah. Yeah, but we like this is the thing, like, and that's something that if you I'm are sorry. Self- so you no. ain't got, <laughs> you ain't got, bro. <laughs> it's something that we we have to be conscious about, right? Like we always focus on negatives, man. Yeah, man. Well, not always. Not always, like, right? Not but just, always. You know, but what it we comes. mostly when negative comes, like we more focus on the negative, and Attached then when the good comes, like you never been like studying for a test, mm. then you study hard for the test, and you pass it, mm. and after you pass it, it's like nothing. Yeah, it's yeah. like nothing. But let you fail that test. Why me, Lord? <laughs> <laughs> let you fail that God, test. God, I studied so hard. So hard. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you say help me to help you. Right. I help myself. You didn't help me. You know, <laughs> type thing. Is dead. Yeah. Right. So we need to change our mindset when it comes to problem. Yeah. To focus on the good things. To focus on yo, God did this, and that's how I look at the stories in the Bible, man. Mm-hmm. If Daniel, mm-hmm. that that was thrown into a lion's mm-hmm. den, bro. was able to walk out, bro. There is nothing that God can't do, right? Amen. Just right. Amen. If David. You know, little small bitty David, hmm. you know, who took off a, 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 a you know, he, the, the whole armor that they provided to him, yeah. who dropped the sword down and, and took a, a slingshot yeah. and brought down the, the giant. And he was big as I, I <laughs> Yo, bro. If he can do that, if he can do that, there's nothing that God can yeah, do. True, and, and the last thing is if Jesus Christ is able to resurrect from death. Right, it's able to rise up from death, snatch that out of the devil's hand. Man, there's nothing that God can't do, man. Like, so I, I'm gonna trust God to be who He is, and He's faithful. You know, but don't don't mistake it. God God has a wrath. But you know, <laughs> I don't but, want that problem. You know, I'll say this though. It's I feel like as a Christian, we always tell ourselves that you know. But then when you're in the problem, that's not you how don't you, see it. You, you don't have doubt. You, you don't question God, oh, man. And, right. And sometimes there is the good why I'm dealing with that. And there is the Israelite why, God. Like, why did you put me in that? Like, I couldn't be, you know, like, if I did this, this could have been right. Because we don't know. God don't usually give us answers. It's a natural feeling. Your answer comes from devotion and, you know, daily studies of the Bible. That's how God speaks to us, you know. And it's hard when you are going through things for, you know, like, for example, I can't stand when you have a death in the family. And then somebody says and says, you know, um, uh, let's pray. Let's pray. You know, like when people are going to their tough times, take down to pray for them. Mm. Take the time to pray for them Mm -hmm. and and take the time to pray with them, Mm -hmm. but not forcefully tell them to pray. Right. I know it's hard. It's hard because we are Christians. But that's facts, though. We are Christians. But at that very moment, God is everything. And that person is still a Christian. Mm-hmm. But there are certain things they are going through. They need you mm-hmm. to pray. You know, to do that. That's why you, that's why we have a, a a family in the church. Mm-hmm. That that's where the fellowship comes from. Where I am weak, you are strong. You're Correct. able to to fill me back up, right? Mm-hmm. By you praying for me, then I, I found strength. Mm-hmm. You know, like God is able to restore me. Uh, but we force people to snap out of, you know, their, their, you know, no such um, thing. Uh, grieving, grievance, yeah. you know, no, no such thing. But yeah. I'm, I'm glad you said that, Sammy, because no, I don't like when you tell somebody your issues, like, you know, this is what I'm going, I'm dealing with. The first thing they said is pray. Like, we don't know to pray. Like, I don't know. I have to pray. God. Yes, I'm going to pray. But what else? They don't, they don't have any answer. Read your Bible. I am reading my Bible. I feel like at times doubting and losing faith in God comes to people that's in your surrounding because mm-hmm. you're doing the things they're asking you to do then now you, you go back and you open your bible where do, okay you tell me to go with my bible where you want me to go and read tell me where i'm dealing with a problem and you want me to read i'm like okay i, I go i'll come and read my bible then i'm like what am i reading 
just go and choose mm. go back from Genesis all the way to Revelation or they not even they could have been okay I know you're dealing with a problem how about we read this story together then we can see how this person deal with you know with the issue they don't do that it just tells you to go and do stuff you already know then now you're questioning your faith it's like okay then God I was re- I was you know praying one time a day I'm gonna do it twice why it's not working you know uh sometimes we make things so uh complicated complicated cryptic i even call it sometimes just go back to the basic and just be there for someone hey how you doing <laughs> like let's go grab a meal let's just chill let's just talk yeah and if we have to sit here and stare at each other we're gonna ju- ju- we're gonna do, do that, that too we're, we're gonna, gonna play the staring contest yeah. Until you or or I blank for. Sometimes it's just that simple, basic. It, it don't gotta be, you know. That can come afterwards, right? Prayer can come afterwards when that person's mindset is not clouded. Because think about it, like I find it kind of disrespectful to try. That's just me to try to pray. You can't, you can't lie to God, man. That prayer is not gonna get past your lips. You know what I used to do, which is funny. I laugh now. <laughs> Giggles. <laughs> like when I used when I was the president, I didn't feel like you know, like that. She said, "What do I read? What passages in the Bible can give me?" I used to Google. <laughs> <laughs> I do it now. <laughs> what passage? What passage should I read about depression? You know how like people like if if my head hurt, why the left side of my brain hurt? <laughs> but you know that makes us more anxious. Because Google end up going to tell you something that you don't like. Oh, now you think you're dead. Because, <laughs> you think of your own doctor. <laughs> I said, hmm, why I can't sleep at night? Why this? Why that? So, like, <laughs> with me, wow. it's, di- it's different, right? Because I used to do that. I mean, I give you all the story all the time. Like, you know, sometimes when I was going through some stuff, I, I put a Bible, you know, underneath my pillow. Oh, Man, yeah. that, that is the, the most ridiculous thing ever, right? Because... The, the the book itself um without faith is nothing yeah right so you must believe in the words mm-hmm. that are in the text mm-hmm. right and that's how God revealed himself to you right mm-hmm. so um long time ago I felt like you did right why am I gonna go read the Bible why am I going to pray when I'm going through this but you'll find out that as you read your Bible and you are meditating God will speak to you God will speak to you. To the text, God will speak Mm -hmm, to you. mm -hmm. So, like, don't necessarily look for a specific text, you know, that deals with depression or suicidal thoughts or anything like that. But just, just, you know, meditate and actually seek God's face, right? And and he will reveal to you um, the, the, the way to get out of whatever you are doing. And there's a big difference between God's will and God's timing. And, and I think that's where we go wrong. When we're going through things, we want the now resolutions. We want the now results, right? God's timing is different from ours. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And our impatience comes from waiting on God, right? There, there's certain things that God wants to give us, but his time is not now. It's not instant. It's not that quick pop, right? Mm-hmm. It's that slow cook, right? And, and we are impatient. Um, so you must ask for patience. That's some, I'm testifying for myself. Yes. Right? So, <laughs> that's something I really had to work on. It's like, Lord, like, you know, I, I need to be patient enough. Um, so I, I'm just, you know, I just need to be patient. So that way that I, I can, I can see in the time that you prepared for me, mm-hmm. for me to walk into my purpose. I think that's all of us though. Yeah. Um, I'll say, I, listen, patience is a, yeah, I keep turning it, bro. Because keep man, listen, let me tell you, is it now quick? You know, man, it's, it's not quick. Like you know, oh, I'm not even gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> we might be able to relate, but no, it's okay. <laughs> All what right, are you talking about? <laughs> we, we good, we good, man. This was such a good conversation, man. And um, I mean, I, I wish we could keep going with this, uh, but I believe this will help someone, hopefully. This will work, help someone. Yeah. Uh, don't go into this year dealing with the same thing that you were dealing with last year. Make a conscious decision, right, to change. Make a conscious decision to turn your life around. Make a conscious decision, you know, for you to take God serious. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Right. Um, because I truly believe that with God, all things are possible, but you must trust and believe in him for him to do the things that he says he's going to do for your life. So this year, whatever plans that you have, seek God's face, seek his face yeah. so that you may know his plans for your life. And, and hopefully your plans, uh, you know, his plans, your plans align with his plans. And, and, you know, it's a beautiful thing when God is in the midst of, of our planning uh, because things just work out better, you know. So beautifully. So beautiful. Um, I just, to add to that, it's going to be very simple. This is start, um, this song I started listening to since last year, and it connects to what you're saying. It's it's uh, morning by morning, I will trust, right? See you. Huh? No, <laughs> don't do it. Don't, don't, don't do it. She's saying you up, cuz. <laughs> She's saying you up. So, see, that's why we're not friends. <laughs> they want to hear. Just, just tell them. So, to anyways, look right? So, <clears throat> yeah, it's called morning by morning. I will trust, right? So, I used to sing back in my days, you know, but mm-hmm. we don't yeah, sing no more. I don't have it no more, man. You know, yeah, it's cool, man. But. But let me come back. But yeah, man, it's 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 a good song. I think everybody should hear it. And if you hear, it, I think it'll make sense. It'll touch on your everyday life. So Dope thing. So this is it. This is tap in. We have a lot more, um, you know, preparing for you guys for twenty twenty four. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that like button for me. Comment for uh, us. <laughs> uh, uh, follow us on IG. Follow us on uh, Facebook. Um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, tap, tap in the audible podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, you can also email us, uh, tap into the audible podcast at gmail.com. Uh, we can't wait to hear from you again. It's your boy, Fito Sam, and I'm here chilling with the crew. Yeah. 2024. Here we come. We here. New event. Let's go. Yeah. Don't forget the merch. Hey, don't forget the merch. We but got I'm merch coming, coming out soon. Look out for that. Link is gonna be on our bios. Uh yeah, pretty soon. Yeah, and for the people that are big games hype, we got merch for you too. That's it. You know what I'm hey, big games tall, everything. I'm, I'm not gonna get on you this episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so go ahead and tap to tap to tap. Tap in. Let's go.